Hi and welcome to Standard 21. Standard 21 is all about circles. Let's read about it. Standard 21. Students prove and solve problems regarding relationships among chords, secants, tangents, inscribed angles, and inscribed and circumscribed polygons of circles. Holy moly. Okay, um, so here is Standard 21. Standard 21 is going to be problems 87 through... 92, 87 through 92. So the first one we're going to look at is 87. It says a square is circumscribed about a circle. What is the ratio of the area of the circle to the area of the square? Okay, so the square is circumscribed. So remember, there's inscribed and circumscribed. So circumscribed means on the outside. So that means the square will be on the outside. So the circle will be on the inside. So instead of just giving you the answer, I'm going to kind of prove this. Let's say that this ants, this distance here is both the side length of the square and the diameter of the circle. Okay? So if that's true, then this has to be 2r. Right? The side length has to be twice the radius. So the circle is going to be pi r squared, and the square is going to be 2r squared, which equals 4r squared. Does that make sense? So, the circle is pi r squared, and the square is 4r squared. So, it says, what is the ratio of the area of the circle to the area of the square? Well, the ratio of this to this, pi r squared over 4r squared, let me just cancel this part out, and what do you get? Pi over 4. There it is, D. Okay, 88. In the circle below, segment AB and segment CD are chords intersecting at E. If AE is 5 and BE is 12 and CE is 6, uh, what is the length of DE? So we'll call this X. Alright, so this one is pretty tricky. Um, it doesn't lend itself to easy solution if you don't know how to do it. Uh, but I, I thought of a way to, to explain it. These are obviously vertical angles. So what we've got here is that this angle is congruent to this angle this angle is congruent to this angle we've got here is similar triangles all right all you got to really understand is that corresponding sides are going to be proportional in other words 6 over 12 equals 5 over x 6 over 12 equals 5 over x okay so 6 over 12 reduces to 1 over 2 and you can cross multiply to find x so x times 1 is x 5 times 2 is 10. Okay? The other way to think of it, quite simply, is that you can always set up a proportion with intersecting chords. The uh, sides on one side of the intersection will be proportional to the ratio of the sides on the opposite side. So 6 over 12 equals 5 over x. This stuff with the uh, similar triangles only helps prove it. That's all. It doesn't help solve it. Okay, so there you go. The answer is C equals 10, and that is number 88. Moving on to number 89. 89 says that uh, line RB is tangent to a circle whose center is A at point B. Uh, segment BD is a diameter. Okay, so here's your diameter, and this is a tangent. So, of course, that means this is a radius, and as we remember tangents are perpendicular to radii. Um, other things we know is that if this is 25, then this angle here has got to be 65 degrees. What is the question? The question is find the measure of angle C, B, R. Oh, I accidentally solved it already. Got it? Good. 65. And you know, that's kind of a good strategy, actually. Put in everything you know, and sometimes you'll have this problem solved before you even start thinking about it. That can be good. In the figure below, 
segment uh, line AB is tangent to circle O at point A. Secant BD intersects O at points C and D. Measure of arc AC equals 70 degrees and measure of arc CD equals 110. Okay, the nice thing about this problem is that they tell it to you in words, but they also show it to you in the diagram. Um, let's see, if only we knew the measure of this arc, then we could do arc minus arc divided by 2 equals the angle. Right, because we're trying to find the measure of angle ABC. We're trying to figure out this. Um, so the question is, do we know this arc? Well, you can think, gosh, if that was a diameter, it would be a 180 degree angle. But um, that might not be sufficient proof. Here's what is sufficient proof. This arc here is 70. This arc here is 110. 70 plus 110 is 180. So if this arc is 180, guess what? This arc is also 180. Why? Because circles have to add up to 360. So if this is 180, now we've got a pretty easy problem. 180 minus 70 divided by 2 equals x. Let's write it down. 180 minus 70 divided by 2 equals x. 180 minus 70 is 110 divided by 2 equals 55. C is our answer. Okay, that was number 90. Next is number 91. 91. It says, in the circle below, the measurement of arc PR is 140, and the measure of angle RPQ equals 50. Okay, and it's saying, what is the mark, the measure of the arc uh, PQ? So we want to find this one. All right, so let's look at this. This is an inscribed angle. Does everybody see that? It's an inscribed angle. So let's think about this. If that's inscribed, what about this one? That's a central angle. And remember, central angles equal inscribed angles times 2. So if this one's 50, then this one's 100. And if this one's 100, then this arc is 100. And if we're trying to find the measure of arc PQ, then let's look at this. We've got 140. We got 100 and we got x, and it's a circle, so it's got to add up to 360. So 140 plus 100 is 240, therefore 360 minus 240 equals x, which is 120. Not so bad. Got it. Okay. Next is 92. Segment QS is a di diameter of the circle below, and segment QS is perpendicular to PR. So we know that this is the diameter, and these are perpendicular. Okay, if measure of arc PQR equals 106 degrees, what is the measure of arc PS? Okay, so PQR is 106. Okay. And um, what is the measure of arc PS? So we're trying to find this. Okay. So... This looks like a little bit of a challenge. Um, if this is a 106 degree arc, then we know that the central angle attached to it is also 106. We also know that these are perp perpendicular, so that this is 90, 90, 90. Um, so then this is going to be 53 and 53. So then this angle here, see, 53, 53, to make the 106. So this angle here has got to be 127 degrees. And of course, this central angle has to be congruent to the arc attached to it. Therefore, x is also 127. Not so bad. Okay, so that's it for circles. Uh, that was standard 21. Rewind if you need to. Make sure to go over it enough times so it really sticks in your brain. Okay, uh, I'll see you in the last one, standard 22. We're almost done. Bye.